and I, guys, it is an absolutely spectacularly gorgeous, over-the-top beautiful day here in paradise in the Finger Lakes of upstate New York. I think this is the second to the last day of summer. That would be Friday, September 20th, 2019. So I am down to my last, uh, the last two days of summer, I'm down to my last two days of being in my 50s and I am going to try to, once I uh, bring you this doom and gloom, I am going to dedicate it, the next three days of my life to not paying any attention to the goddamn police state, all of this unbelievable bullshit and stress that I have been through this week. It's, un, you know, I, when you raise the white flag, and just roll over and stick your legs up in the air like a dead cockroach. Sometimes it's just easier. So uh, anyway, uh, hell with all that stress. The little dog seems to be all... Have you recovered from your affliction? I got a healthy little dog. I'm getting my damn driver's license on Monday. Uh, and it is a gorgeous day. We have got friends coming in. The tribe's members are, I think, actually starting to arrive tonight for the big uh, 60th birthday bash in Ithaca, New York at the Viva Taqueria. We're going to start gathering. We're going to be there between 3 and 7 p.m. on Sunday afternoon at the Viva Taqueria in downtown Ithaca, New York. So come join us. And I really am going to see if I can make it the last two days, the last two days of my 50s uh, without... It, it, it just, I just want the fucking bullshit to end for two days. Is that too fucking much to ask from the universe? Give me two days uh, in the last two days of the summer of <clears throat> 2019. But of course, <clears throat> since it is Friday, uh, you know, this used to be when I did my ecological meltdown roundup rant. I have uh, moved the Manga Bay roundup over to Collapse Chronicles. It's a full, uh, it, it, it is a full deck of Collapse cards over there at Manga Bay, but, uh, <clears throat> but if you want to hear that roundup of doom and gloom, you need to go over to Collapse Chronicles and find out how fucked we are uh, from, uh, where did we start out over there? I think from I think we started out in Colombia and went all over the planet. Uh, but anyway, I don't know what happened to Center for Biological Diversity's Endangered Earth. Somehow, uh, either Earth is not endangered or they forgot to send me their roundup. So, we're going to go over there <coughs> to the... Uh, Washington Post. Those old eco Nazis at the Washington Post. Chris Mooney and uh, his gang <coughs> over there. Now, several people have sent me versions of this story, and uh, this certainly qualifies as a We Are So Fucked Doomer headline of the day. <coughs> North America has lost three billion birds in 50 years. No shit, Sherlock. A sweeping new study says a steep decline in bird abundance, including among common species, amounts to an overlooked biodiversity crisis. No shit. Sherlock. But you know, guys, actually, what I think I'm going to do is I, I'm going to finish up the, 
the Washington Post roundup here, then, then I'm going to go over to the New York Times at the later on in this rant. We're going to switch over to get the New York Times coverage of this We Are So Fucked story. Uh, okay. What else? Oh, there's all sorts of uh, Greta Thunberg news. Teen climate activist Greta Thunberg demands that Congress listen to the scientist uh, rather than give a typical testimony. She demanded lawmakers read a landmark UN climate change report. And and guys, I you know I'm not going to go off on a Greta rant. I I just don't understand how a 16-year-old from Sweden gets access to the U.S. Congress when uh, I can, can you imagine if a 60-year-old resident of the U.S. tried j just to get in the fucking room uh, that, that I would be escorted out in handcuffs uh, this little uh, this little whatever it is that this 16 year old uh, has managed to do uh, I'm sure let's see let's just do all the Greta news uh, oh here is teen climate activist Greta Thunberg meets Barack Obama let's see so she has gone uh, from meeting the Pope She's spoken at Davos, Switzerland. Here she is uh, hobnobbing with Obama. Barack Obama called her, quote, one of our planet's greatest advocates. And one more time, I 100% support Greta Thunberg. Let's see. All right. No, I thought we were done. But no. Teen activist Greta Thunberg takes her youth climate campaign to Washington. Quote, hope is something you need to deserve. Hmm. The 16-year-old from Sweden said in an interview with The Post as she continues her push for global leaders to for global leaders to take more aggressive climate action. And I guess it and today isn't there some sort of climate action uh, going on? Okay, let's just finish up the climate stuff, the climate action stuff before we get to the rest of the news. Americans increasingly see climate change as a crisis. Poll shows. The vast majority of Americans say humans are fueling climate change and many say that President Trump should be doing more to tackle the problem. No shit. And then from the general Americans, I've already covered this story uh, about the teenagers. Most American teens are frightened by climate change, Paul finds, and about one in four are taking action. And I love it. They, they uh, pulled the very same quote from this long article that I did, quoting a 16-year-old, uh, quote, It's like a dystopian novel to grow up seeing the world fall apart around you. Yes, it is. Good luck to the 16-year-olds. Okay, is there any 
anything in the Washington Post that does not mention Greta Thunberg this week, uh, since she is the biggest story on the planet. Uh, okay, let's get back to Donald Trump uh, revoking California's power to limit pollution from cars and trucks. Trump declared that the decision to take away California's long-standing authority to impose stricter air pollution rules would lower the sticker price for new vehicles. And I honestly don't know which button to push, but uh, that is certainly uh, the sticker price on new vehicles is a hell of a lot more important to Donald Trump than the planet. As long as we're, let's just do, we've done the Thunberg Roundup, now let's do the Trump Roundup. Okay, border fence could destroy archaeological sites, Trump's own National Park Service finds. At least 22 archaeological sites in Arizona's Oregon Pipe Cactus National Monument could be imperiled as President Trump's border barrier goes up. No shit, Sherlock. And uh, then they're still laughing about Trump's uh, Hurricane Dorian uh, taking out Alabama. Uh, anyway, do we ever get uh, sick of this guy? Okay. Trump administration opens huge reserve in Alaska to drilling. No shit, Sherlock. Environmental groups are aghast while the oil industry and Alaskan officials welcome the move. No shit, Sherlock. Okay, any more Donald Trump news? Uh, okay, and to close out the uh, the summer of 2019 for their last report from the summer of 2019 from the Washington Post, the Northern Hemisphere just had its warmest summer on record. No shit, Sherlock. Uh, well, actually, I guess tied with 2016. The Northern Hemisphere had its hottest summer on record, tying with 2016, as signs of a warming world continue to emerge. No shit, Sherlock. And since we're not going over to the Center for Biological Diversity today, uh, let's go over and see how the New York Times are playing up the dead birds story. <clears throat> birds are vanishing from North America. No shit, Sherlock. The number of birds in the U.S. and Canada have declined by 3 billion, or 29% over the past Half century scientists find, and my guess, and the number is a hell of a lot higher than that. Take it away, Carl Zimmer from the New York Times. The skies are emptying out. The number of birds in the United States and Canada has fallen by 29%. 19, since 1970, scientists reported on Thursday, there are now 2.9 billion fewer birds taking wing now than there were 
50 years ago, which was about when did when did Rachel Carson write Silent Spring? About 57 years ago. Anyway, the analysis published in the journal Science is the most exhaustive and ambitious attempt yet to learn what is happening to our avian populations. The results have shocked researchers and conservation organizations. Why would any uh, bird researcher or conservation organization be shocked? I, I am not even mildly surprised at this number, and in fact, I think the number three billion is... Uh, anyway, <clears throat> in a statement on Thursday, David Yarnold, president and chief executive of the National Audubon Society, called the findings, quote, a full-blown crisis. Oh, I'm sorry. No shit, Sherlock. Experts have long known that some bird species have become vulnerable to extinction. But the new study, based on a broad survey of more than 500 species, reveals steep losses even among such traditionally abundant birds, such as robins and sparrows. There are likely many causes, the most important of which include habitat loss and wider use of pesticides. <clears throat> Silent Spring, Rachel Carson's prophetic book in 1962 about the harms caused by pesticides, takes its title from the unnatural quiet settling on a world that has lost its birds. Yes, looking into the future, Doomsday Prophet uh, Rachel Carson Quote, on the mornings that had once throbbed with the dawn chorus of robins, catbirds, doves, jays, wrens, and scores of other bird voices, there was now no sound. Quoting Rachel, uh, and of course, if Rachel Carson would go camping in the Adirondack Mountains of New York, she could certainly pat herself on the back. Kevin Gaston, a conservation biologist at the University of Exeter, said the new findings signal something larger at work. Quote, this is the loss of nature. No shit, Sherlock. Common bird species are vital to ecosystems, controlling pests, pollinating flowers, spreading seeds, and regenerating forest. When these birds disappear, their former habitats often are not the same. Yes, this is Hillary Young, a conservation biologist from UC Santa Barbara. Quote, declines in your common sparrow or other little brown bird may not receive the same attention as historic losses of bald eagles or sandhill cranes, but they are going to have much more of an impact. For decades, professional ornithologists have been assisted by an amateur of devoted amateur bird watchers. Uh, Anyway, then they break, they break all this down and conclude that 76% of all bird species in the U.S. and Canada are pretty much fucked. Uh, anyway, this is a long article. Uh, the majority of birds have declined often by large numbers. Oh, this is right here in good old corn. You know, I need to have uh, 
talk to somebody. I'm, I'm ten. I'm, I'm like twenty minutes from Cornell, and here the here the New York Times is having an interview with someone at Cornell University. Uh, I, I, anyway, this is Kenneth Rosenberg from right down the street, a conservation at Cornell University, and the American Bird Conservancy. Quote. We were stunned by the results. It's just staggering. It's not just these highly threatened birds that we are afraid are going to go on the endangered species list. It's across the board. No shit, Sherlock. Uh, and then, kind of like a, in kind of instead of a windshield uh, snapshot of insects, talking about how these big flocks of birds aren't showing up on the on weather radar, that these flocks of birds, you know, actually show up on radar, uh, but not anymore. Uh, Among the worst hit groups were warblers with a population that dropped by 617 million. Meanwhile, there were 440 million fewer blackbirds than there were. Oh, Jesus, we're so fucked. Uh, even starlings have dwindled by 83 million birds, a 49% decline. Uh, Andy the gardener was leaving a comment about, I guess he was more talking about uh, Zombie Island where starlings are native, that they have completely crashed. Now, of course, starlings are an invasive species here, and we need a 100% decline in starlings. But, but even the invasive species now are fucked. And then, uh, speaking of Zombie Island, Europe is also experiencing a similar loss of birds. Also among common species, said Dr. Gaston of University of Exeter, saying the numbers are broadly comparable in the in Europe as they are to the US. No shit, Sherlock. Uh, grassland species of birds have suffered the single biggest declines by far, having lost 717 million birds, as these birds have probably, probably been decimated by modern agriculture and development. No shit, Sherlock. Said Rosenberg, every field that is plowed under and every wetland area that is drained, you lose the birds. In addition to habitat loss, pesticides uh, have taken a toll uh, no shit, Sherlock. Anyway, this is one hell of a story. Thank you, New York Times. Uh, anyway, uh, <clears throat> the sheer, we're going to wind up here, the sheer scale of the bird decline means that stopping it would require immense effort, said Dr. Young from UC Santa Barbara. Habitats must be defended, chemicals restricted, buildings redesigned. Quote, we are overusing the world, so it's affecting everything, she said. No shit, Sherlock. Imagine that. We are overusing the world. Uh, 
and this keeps going. Oh, and then they have some associated stories here surrounding this story. The crisis for birds is a crisis for all, and hurricanes may kill some birds, but humans are the real threat. No shit, Sherlock. Imagine that. Humans are the real threat. Who would have thunk it? But anyway, I am going to wrap up today's We Are So Fucked Doomer headlines of the day. And I am actually going to get my little dog and he and I are going to go out and get out there and enjoy this absolutely spectacular, gorgeous day here in paradise in the end times in the waning days of the summer of 2019 as I wrap up 60 years of surviving on this collapsing planet unlike 3 billion of my fellow earthlings. And I suggest you get out there and do the same, and we would love to see you at the